Okay then, good afternoon. We have uh, a very wonderful lady. Um, in fact, not just a lady, um, an outstanding lady. Um, one day, it's Birmingham born, born and bred. I am, yes. Really, uh, you know, I know all the good musicians are coming from Birmingham, mm -hmm. born and bred in Birmingham, you know. And, and we have one that's going to be performing sometime not too long ago um, on a Sunday. Um, that's Johnny Clark with this wonderful man, Pat Vanted. Oh, okay. But I'm yeah. coming back to you, you see. And I have to look in here <coughs> and see. But I know the name is. Um, um, Mr. Millis and uh, Stevenson. Correct. Um, extraordinary saxophonist, mm -hmm. international saxophonist, uh, in, in fact, because you were a recipient of the People's Award in Dallas, Texas. Yeah. What was that all about? Well, um, the award is uh, a people's choice, so what happens is that people actually vote um, for, the, for someone to be the winner. And that winner gets featured in their magazine, so I was really blessed that my fans voted for me. And really, a few all over the world. Yeah, yeah. That is absolutely. Uh, yeah, and I, I did say to them, well, how much was it? But I just said I'm not allowed to say how much, but it was quite a huge percentage. It got to I be over say. a million. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't say the number. They don't want to tell you the number. No, oh, no, they've no. been um, uh, ungracious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won. I think that's all that matters. That is better. Yes. <laughs> and you either. have that, and you have the platform. You, you, when you perform or are at. Uh, extraordinary events you carry the flag a lot. Oh no, I've got too much equipment to carry. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what you came in with on the back, you see, and I said, my God, it remind me, it remind me of an Ampa. You know, Ampa, they put it in the you know, and, and, yeah. and put so well, much. It's my backpack, George. I, I know. know you my backpack. I know, I know. And it's, it's, it's very, um, Oh, uh, I have to apologise. I, mean, I only do handbags you know, on a Sunday, hamper, and I yeah. have a little foot in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a backpack of everything, you know. Good to go. <laughs> Is it saxophone in that bag? No, no, it's not, not. Today, no. Okay, <laughs> so that's why you bring the music and lighter things. Yes, yes. Oh, that's yes. great. I know the quality of the music, yeah. because for a long time I've been listening to your music, you see. Yes. And uh, I remember uh, probably around two years ago, when yourself, your husband, and Malachi the Vanillis, mm. Um, and you're all, of them, you know, classically trained, mm. and it was so wonderful, you know. And uh, there was some other miscreant over in the other room there, yeah. and came in and barked at us. Oh, and says, oh my God. I, I the music down, and said, I show you music down. <laughs> and it, yeah, the music was up, and it yeah. was it was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And it's never put a head around again. <laughs> So having won the wonderful accolade, mm. a worldwide one to boot, um, what have you done? How have you exploited it? Oh wow. Um, in many ways, obviously it goes on everything I'm doing on my website and my sort of PR stuff. But generally I think, because I have awards, I, I, I tend to just get on with my work. Mm. And in particular, I think the main thing now is uh, my show that I've got coming up. Uh, I've sort of promote it through that and also because I'm supporting women in music it's just been yeah, you, you have two um, charities oh yeah. yes there's lots of things now now you come to <laughs> jump my memory yes yes um let me go back so you know I've got my show coming up next week Friday okay. the 26th of July called not just jazz it's the fifth one okay so you know we've been going five years with the show which has been well I should say six because in the fifth year we did a photographic exhibition and then we've done doing the music this time but yeah, each year I tend to support a charity and um, I'm supporting two great charities this time. They're privately owned, they're small, but they need our help just as much as any other charity. Um, one is called SHAPE, which is a... Shape. 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 That's H-A-P-E. Yeah, SHAPE. Okay. And that is for, it's a women's refuge. So it's, um, it really caught my attention because when I heard that there are different types of women who come from different backgrounds and nationalities just have some real difficulties in their home life and they need a safe place to live mm -hmm. and by being at shape they've got their confidence back and they're either applying for jobs going on to study um, relocating but just they're completely changed and getting on with their lives and I just thought wow I just really want to help them 
Uh, and the other one is called Cafe on the Green. And I, I kind of stumbled across them because I was doing a funeral and I saw this cafe which is attached to a church. And I popped in and had a meal there. And they were telling me that they're really for um, people on low income mm -hmm. or no income. So the meals could be something like 353 pounds, really, really cheap and good quality food as well. And, you know, like you probably see George, you know, I've noticed in the last few months there's an increase in homelessness in our city. Yeah. There's more people sleeping on the street. It's been flagged up on the television. Yeah. And you know, some non-British television also pick up on it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's quite, it, it's not good, you know. Um, you just see people sleeping rough. I mean, I was going through Edgebaston the other day on Fuss and I saw people just sleeping on the underpasses and things. and. And I know that with the cutbacks, there's lots of um, hostels have been closed or they're just struggling for funding. And I just thought, well, what can I do? And I just wanted to sort of highlight these two charities of two that are close to my heart so that, you know, the proceeds from the show will be going to them, you know. And so everyone's helping, help me to help them. Um, the that is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not saying it in a patronizing way. Yeah. Um, it's. You know, I've seen a lot of people who are great um, in their in the in their, their vocation, mm. um, and uh, in the same time, because they knew that they know that other people got you there. Yeah. Yeah, and it's sometimes it's about giving back to what I receive. Yeah. 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 Um, I, 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 I look at um, this guy um, at the big um, big event, open air event, Gustenberry. Oh yes. Mm. And he he was so full of emotion. Mm. You know, he said um, he never knew he'd got there, but when he got there, mm. how his his art, his talent, yeah. was appreciated, mm. and he feel like he have to give something back to. Yeah. I think you have to, and I think like with, you know, we for women in refuge and also homelessness. I mean, my parents came in the sixties, so you know it was rough. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Very little food, cold climate. I was a child of the sixties, and so I experienced that. And even when um, I'm an adult and I'm married, you know, my husband and I, we had a business, but because of recession, that closed, mm -hmm. and that impacted our finances hugely. You know, with some Christmas, you're thinking, well, what am I going to do this year for the children? And, how are we going to pay off this loan and stuff? Real, real worries. Um, no, I've not been homeless, but I can imagine right. having gone close to struggling with finance. I'm not saying I'm loaded now, you know, I'm just saying I've, I've been through yeah, experiences you it of, if you're loaded you know. now, you're earning. <laughs> you know, yes. No, I'm still squirking it out, to be honest. But, okay. um, I, you know, I, I, I empathize. And, you know, it is, I'm going to say this, you know, there are people who like to clean our windows at, at the traffic lights and mm -hmm. it's very annoying you know mm -hmm. um but i've just thought well this is something i can do right. but in that situation i can't do and it's not everybody i walk past i can give something to right. so let me give it to a place who can actually provide a meal for someone and they can go then get a decent meal mm -hmm. you know because sometimes you give money in the streets you don't know what they're using it for so they, you know what i mean yeah. and some people are swinging the leg, you know. I'm not saying that everybody is, please don't shoot me. Yeah. Not everybody, you know, but there are no, some you people. Feel, you can sense it, you can, yeah. you can sense it. On, on, on the street here, there's a lady always sit outside a particular mm. shop there. And and sometime I go past and then I said, I don't know our circumstance, you know. Mm. And if, you, if it's even a pound, you know, it's something. <laughs> <coughs> But it's like, um, you know, they had an article in the papers about some people who made a lot of money by begging. Yeah. And it was quite a huge amount they're making mm -hmm. per month by yeah. begging. Um, but for me, it's like, you know, I just wanted to do something to help because, you know, there is a situation in our city. You know, the city council doesn't have a lot of money and they are being, you know, so they about say, how they spent know what it they put over and seas. why they're in the red and all this kind of <laughs> stuff. Yeah, there's, there's a whole heap of that, but I don't really want to go there, you know. <laughs> Right. And I think for like women as well in 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 um, relationships, there's some women who do get a really raw deal, and they do struggle, and they have to leave their relationship for safety reasons. Yeah. So it's just good to know there's some place that 
they can somewhere where they can go and can be supported. It's only a small charity with a few beds, but they're doing sterling work. And um, you know, they're looking for funding. I thought, well, this is something I can do to help them. Good of you to do yeah. it as well. <laughs> you know, yeah. Sometimes you 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 can feel it. If we if we are attuned to the world in which we live, mm. we see things happening to other people. Um, and you can feel it, and if you can't feel it, you're not really connected to yeah. this little planet. Yeah. It's a little dot, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know when, when you look at, the when the scientists show you the oh. wider sphere oh. and how they impact on us, you know, the moon and yeah. the sun, what yeah. it does to us, oh. you know. Yeah. Uh, change the tide, let things grow in a particular way. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, it's quite powerful, uh, yeah. the impact of the moon on us. And sometimes make people behave really, <laughs> really mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's it's all part of the environment in which we live. Yeah. I, I was sitting down um, around two days ago, and I'm, I was looking through my window, and I'm looking out onto a car park, which is near to me, and I'm saying, what, what does that represent to me? And I was asking myself. Mm. It says, well, people alive, people going about their business, but sometimes the way people park a car, you, you say to yourself, they don't really care about others who, oh, that is so true. you know, who's gonna come and park. There's a space that, you know, is shown that's. That's a, that's a that's a car space, that's a vehicle space. Yeah. And I watch them park up, and they don't care how they park up. And I'm saying, I, know. I agree. Oh. I mean, I was yeah. um, in a particular part of Birmingham the other day, and I parked my car, and then where I parked in front of me was two double yellow lines, mm -hmm. and then obviously got a parking bay again. And this person, by the time I got back to my car, this person. Take a picture of the car now. Of course, come in and show the name and shame them. <laughs> but this person <laughs> put their car on the double yellows yeah. and left me very little room to manoeuvre. Now, I've lived in London, so you get out to really tight spaces, and yeah. I could do it. But it was just annoying. I'm in Birmingham. Why do I have to hassle with my power steering to get out of this space? <laughs> now, fortunately, this other lady was coming, and she was next to me, so she moved her car so I could get out. But this person had a very nice, very, very nice car, you know, very up there car. Oh, they put themselves in the double yellow. I think, what's that all about? Didn't they get booked? Why? Didn't Why? They get Not interested. <laughs> no, there was no, no uh, woman around at that time. But it just kind of like, why did you have to do that? Why? It's double. Can't you read? Two yellow lines parked somewhere else. And then they blocked me in. Oh, oh doing that to you. Oh, could they do that? They want a spanking. <laughs> <laughs> they need something, innit? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Um, where I think I? the um, I had I had um, oh I had this I had to load oh. and I've just loaded it so I'm gonna go to it okay. the one that makes the money for them yeah. oh right okay okay <laughs> mm. Entertainment Ninety Eight Point Seven New Style yeah, yeah. 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 Jet Joint Caribbean yeah. Restaurant in conjunction with New Star Radio Ninety Eight Point Seven presents a double celebration of Jamaica's 57th independence and the launching of Jerk Joint Caribbean Restaurant on Saturday the 3rd of August 2019 from 12 noon at the Afro-Caribbean Millennium Centre 339 W Road, Birmingham Is there any particular thing you want to put in the public domain in terms of the performances and to raise a wider awareness of the range of things that you do. Yeah, oh, so because, yeah, you know, yeah, I can talk about the, um, the women all going to be playing at the show yeah. and about um, why they should come to the show. And then I can talk about the musicians you hear, I'm involved in that, and right. making um, things that are good musicians, really. Yeah, and equalities, I'm on the equalities um, committee as well. And in terms of listing, um, every year I see magazines go out and it show um, events um, and um, musicians doing um, jazz, blues, yeah. highlights.
exciting. How to get conversations about our work. You've got to put your stuff forward. You've got to email them and say, can you include it in the magazine? And it depends. Um, if, if you want an article, then sometimes you have to pay for that. Um, if it's just a listing, like the venue and stuff, something that goes in for free. So yeah, you have to apply for that. Well, I, I, can, I can find a way around it too, because it's the difference between you saying it and uh, me saying it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I creep into it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I love the, the open question rather than the closed question. Okay. <laughs> The 27th anniversary of his imperial majesty, Oh, yes, and I need to, we need to hear your music. music. I can hear it after I go. Before I go, before I start talking again, you can say a little bit of it. And he, if he hear it, he goes, we wouldn't play music in here, you know. I'm coming on the Sunday up Monday morning. Yeah. And he's copying the music I play. So, what surprised a lot of them. Yeah. I have music that the, uh, the, um, the library. Yeah. The big, the big uh, in line. the basement. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of music that they sell off. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes I negotiate with them, and I get some classical music. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. absolutely wonderful music. Yeah. And I was looking the other day, I had three shelves, and each of those compartments had 13 tracks, yeah. and it's eight in the row. Oh. So you know, I have quite a lot. And sometimes. Um, I went another day when I came back, family members came and rearranged my bloody apartment and my wife, she was the one who knew about it and never tell me. And I was really, really mad. But you know what it did? It was a blessing in disguise because some of these things I had in boxes. I said, where did I get these? You know, and up to Maybe now I have been able to sort yeah. all of them, but it's absolutely wonderful. So sometimes I bring them in here and, and, and then on a Monday morning and people call in and say, Where do you get that truck from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you mean where I get that truck from? Look at Martin! <laughs> Martin, sometimes I, you know, sometimes I only pay one pound for it. Yeah. Because I take a, I take a batch. Yeah, okay. Cool. I'm going to catch it five now. Yeah, yeah. I'm this one here now. So this, that, it. Can you in the background or something? Yes. Um, it's a whole so thing you're on it. Ten. Ten? That's good. So you can just run. That's yeah. good, okay. The series, the moment I try to lift that, oh, it hurts. 98.7 FM. New, yes. new, new, new style radio. Yes, good afternoon. It's now um, coming up 12 minutes past five. I'm here with the wonderful and outstanding um, Saxophonist. Oh yes. What do you mean you don't you don't know who I'm talking about? <laughs> if you were listening at the beginning, you would have known. Yes, I'm not about this. Unrelated. Millicent Stevenson, uh, recipient of People's Award worldwide, and this took place in Dallas, Texas, and she won. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm trying to discover what other things that she is doing to keep up her um, the pressure of um, um, letting your music be listened to all over the world. Because wow. if you if you if you go um, if you go back in in what was they call it? Um, if you go, if you become a recluse. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good for music. No, it, it isn't. You have to you, be out there. You've got to be out there. You've got to be on it. Yes, yeah. you have to be on it. I have I have a really great assistant, Angela, who helps me with my social media or else I couldn't keep up with the whole thing. Oh, and uh, a few other people who help me out as well. Um, Sunray does my graphics and my husband's great for just advice and bouncing ideas off. And That's have good. An image consultant. And yeah, I've seen on stage even when kind of you're stuff. there on stage. <laughs> you see the background <laughs> waiting and moving things and uh, you don't trip yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, she has to. I haven't got time to think about it. I'm carrying a sack and I've got to go. 
but some people don't move. Uh, so, you know, they? every year we see magazines oh. that publishes um, photos of musicians in our city yeah. and say, well, such and such a gig is taking place. Um, have you ever been approached by these people who are the people who um, print no, these? I, I haven't been approached. I've approached them and sometimes okay. I've managed to get a listing in. But if you sort of want to have a, an interview write up, then sometimes there are costs associated with that, you mm. know, because it's advertising and space. Um, sometimes they, they'll put a small little write up, which is great, you know, any any great. sort of publicity is great. But no, I haven't been approached, but you know, George, you can, uh, maybe you've got some contacts. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of a, of a couple. Oh. Um, I'm, as you, you trigger that, and I'm going to make sure. I remember their name because ah I know I put it in my little uh, I know I put it in my little diary. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because I'm gonna talk to them this evening. Oh, lovely. Right. I'm yeah. gonna talk to them this evening. <laughs> but you know, let's say this city is a city of um, um, a city of equality, and mm. it's uh, um, what's the other word they use? Inclusive. Hmm? Inclu yeah, inclusive. Inclusive. inclusive yeah. Inclusive. Yeah. I mean. Why should I have to work so hard? I've been at my um, my my task. You 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 you're you're a musician, a classical um, musician, and um, you know you you have you have been through the mill to get where you are oh. at this moment in time, mm -hmm. and heaven knows how many rejections you may have uh, had uh, in the past uh, which have impacted on you but because you have good people around you you know Milton, mm -hmm. um they can't they can't put a good person down yeah, that's true. Uh, not too long <laughs> anyway you know, <laughs> you know uh, you, 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 like an uh, outside in boxer like Mohamed Ali you mm -hmm. can put him down once and then it can come back up yeah. you know because you have staying power and you know when we believe in ourselves nobody can Nobody can take it away from you. Yeah, no. yeah you, they're, they're, it's hard work. You do get your knockbacks and you've got to bounce back. I mean, I tell some of the women I support, you know, um, mm. it is about that. It is a journey, you know. Um, yeah. I have a project for women in music called Kefemni, and it's been going five years. And actually, about six of them will be performing with me next week, Friday, at my show, Not Just Jazz Five. And these women are incredible mm. in that mm. they have, they've in the past they've probably had family or work and other sort of commitments, and they put their music aside and then they've picked it up and they're deciding to go for it, and they're really developing. You know, in my project I don't teach them how to play. My project's about you know how to make it in music. You know, the business side of music, right. and as well as I give advice on performance as well. And so they will be coming. There's going to be a saxophone quartet. Wow. Yes, so mm. that's um, Cheryl, uh, Friday the 26th of July at 7.30pm. Oh, right. Yeah. So oh, the, yeah. oh, that's a particular day. But yeah, I wrote that in the Chief there. Charity Women's uh, Refuge mm. there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. brilliant. And Coffee on the Green. Yeah. Uh, where is Coffee on the Green incident? Um, that's in Stockland Green. It's actually at the location where we're having the concert, Stockland Green Methodist Church. Oh, great. Okay. Because um, we've moved it from, I'm usually at the Crescent Theatre. But with all the road works and everything happening in the city and parking, it's just a nightmare. I just decided to take it out to, to Stockland suburb. Stockland Green, that's near to... Erdington, Stockland Green, um, Expressway. That's near to Erdington. Erdington, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, back end of Witton, yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be at Stockland Green Methodist Church, 7.30pm. And as I say, there's going to be a saxophone quartet there opening the show, which consists of Cheryl, Hilary, Janice, Pat, and a djembe drummer, Carleen. So there's five of them that are going to be working together. And they're playing a, a range of styles. And then another lady who's from Kefemni, Joanne, and she's had some health challenges which she's overcoming and overcome. And you'll hear about her story when you come on Friday. Okay. So she's going to be singing. And also I have a, a student of mine who is really great. He's the youngest person on my stage next week ever, I think, in not just jazz. He's about 14. Jordan. Is he over four? <laughs> he's <laughs> And he plays sax and uh, he's done really well with his exams and uh, he's going to do a number with me. So I'm really looking forward to that. So <clears throat> I give back and I help other people to get on the stage because I know for me it was really tough. 
and um, I had to figure it out a lot of it myself. I had to ask for advice and doors close and doors open. So I just think, well, I, you know, I'm not going to keep it all for myself. I'm going to share it and so other people can, you know, really excel in their musical gift. Um, so that's kind of one area <coughs> of what I do. And the other thing is that I'm, I'm involved in the Musicians Union and I sit on the Regional Committee of the Musicians Union for the West Midlands. And I also sit on the Equality Subcommittee for the Musicians Union. That's a national Great. position. And really, there. Are you I able to influence them? And uh, are well, they? Yeah, it, it's, it's. Are they? Um, are they understanding from your? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're really open-minded and they're great people. You know, because okay. it's all about how can it be better for musicians? Okay. Because one of my bugbear and their bugbear is that music is predominant. Is, is the the if you put an event, music takes the biggest slice of the pie in terms of what it takes to get it going. Yes, you can have the caterers. Yes, you can have a wonderful room decorated, but entertainment, right. you know, people want that <coughs> entertainment. And, you know, even when, with my show, Not Just Jazz, you know, people come and they have a great time. They feel taken away to another place. They just get away from routine. Um, and I remember one lady saying to me, you know, she wasn't going to come. This was like two years ago. She was going through some difficulties. But she was so glad she came because she was able to sort of um, work through some of her issues. So when she left, she felt really uplifted. And she came and told me, and I'm like, wow. Yeah. You know, so you need music. Um, and so with Musicians Union, we're there to make things fairer for musicians. Definitely. Because some, some people have so many hurdles. Is that your phone ringing or is that? Yes. <laughs> Someone trying to get your attention there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's so many hurdles <coughs> of musicians' union. I know who was ringing a while ago. I'm not able to respond. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing an interview. Uh, okay, uh, sorry about that. So the musicians' union is affiliated to the trade union uh, congress as well, and we do lobby, you know, the government for changes. And in terms of equality, we're looking at making things fairer for musicians. So whether it's about a fair pay, whether it's about fairer contracts whether it's about equality issues, whether it's making sure you get your royalties, all these sorts of things is what the Musicians Union does. And uh, obviously people sign up. It's like a union for any job. You know, you have teachers union and you have, I don't know, all the unions that you have going, but mus there's one for musicians. And I'm, I'm glad I'm part of it. It's been very, very helpful to have them. And there's training, you know, they give you free training as well on different topics. So, you and to know. make an, in, in, um, uh, a contribution which, um, <laughs> let me take that then. Yes, <laughs> just, just, just lock it off. Yeah, I will do what I'm saying. Just try and, yes. yeah, I'll do that for you. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll take it off. I'll put it on vibrate then. Here. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, just to come back to the point, because, um, I think, as an individual, mm. and the personality you have, and the experience you have, the expertise you have, I think that's a quality added to this um, this body of mm. people. Yeah. I I used to call them um, not not a particular union, but unions in, in particular, mm. and organisation. <coughs> you have. Um, what I call is that this term oh, that I use, and it used to irritate people because it tells the truth. We have people when they've been together in organisations, they act collectively as a group. Okay. Um, Sometimes they say they don't know that this is taking place because they don't lose their individuality, right. but they they subscribe to the the group um, because they having worked together mm. yeah you you come in you're 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 your person what uh, is a word that I always use um, oh it's like say it's it's like there is a there is a a net or there's a barrier there but okay. you're, you're not 
aware of it when you come. Group oh, okay. closure. Oh, right, group yeah. Group closure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Group closure. Right. That's what it is. Mm. That group closure exists. Mm. Um, and at some time, I can believe the individuals in the group that they weren't aware of it. Mm. But you, we've, we've learned about yeah. how we learn to pick up on things. Yeah. You know, mm. and when, when, when sometimes you pick up on things, people want to say, um, oh, are you accusing me of racism? And the other says, if you feel you are, I am, then you are. Mm. You know, um, because I never put that at the fore. Mm. I talk about how it impacted me. Yeah. You know, so if you want to give it another um, <laughs> label, mm. <laughs> that's okay. But, but sometimes it's because you, you come in a group and you're a new person in the group, you have to have allies, you know. Mm. You don't have to have allies, but allies is good because you're bringing your individuality. Yeah. I, yeah? I, I, and, and you're not you're not saying to them, you have to change yours to suit me. Mm. I'm bringing something unique, just like all of the ones who were there before me. Yeah. It's unique and bringing some qualities in. And I, I have to value my quality that I am putting in. And I think that's why I do what I do. You know, when I set up my Women's Project for Femme, it was about having a space for women to come together and to talk about the issues that affect them in their music. Yeah. And I make sure within the group that we are we are equal, you know, and we, we, we get on as best as we can. But I'm not sort of sort of splitting things up and having a them and us type thing, you know. Uh, I think Which is counterproductive. Yeah, it is yeah. counterproductive. Yeah. And, as, and sometimes as well, you know, even if you talk about race, there's also the thing within music, some people think, oh, if I play classical music, it's better than jazz, or if I play reggae, it's better than gospel, and if I play blues, it, it, sometimes you have that, you know, people always trying to be very partisan and stuff, but... I just think and sometimes music, it's you know. tacitly said in order to influence you into what they want. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you have to be able to, yeah, yeah. to, to see it for what it is. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 definitely. But yeah, that's so. so that's kind of the stuff I do. Um, at the show next week, Friday, I don't just play. Oh, what we're playing any classical music? Even although I have been classically trained, I'm actually playing jazz and gospel, reggae and blues and soul. So those are kind of the genres I like to play on the saxophone, and um, I enjoy it, and my audience enjoys it, and it's really good fun. <laughs> right. So in the uh, Ongoing, um, on um, your yeah, ongoing journey. Yeah. Um, what do you see yourself doing, say, another three years from now? Three years from now, I'd be like to be inspiring more women into their music, definitely. And um, the other thing I'm going to be working is more my songwriting because I've been working quite hard, and performances like I play out very, very regularly. And I have written some songs, and I have them recorded on my Reflective Note CD. Um, but I haven't done any original material for quite a while, so I want to sort of return to that. So maybe in three years' time, one of my music will be synced to a film or a movie or a yeah. drama. I'd love that. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I hope that's my dream. And I noticed you're home. doing some um, recording here. Oh yeah, a bit of Facebook Live <laughs> to tell people what I'm doing, you know, okay. and all that. And in fact, the track you played before, um, Take Me to the King, is, is my latest single, but it's a cover of the Tamela Mann version of Take Me to the King. Right. And that was done I've got to in London. my ignorance of Tamela Mann. Tamela, oh yeah, she's an American artist. Okay. Kirk Frank. Have you heard of Kirk Franklin? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, well, he oh, wrote oh, the yeah. song, and oh, she yeah. sang the song. Oh yeah. And um, for the first time I heard Kirk Franklin, I was taken by him out the house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm playing a sax on that, and TTM Collective Band are playing, Natalie Phillips is doing backing vocals, and Gary and Stewart are the producers, so that's the latest single, and it's a reggae version of the song, gospel reggae, and it's quite good, it's up-tempo, and I'll be playing that next week, Friday, with the band, so, you know, people are hearing the recording today, but you'll hear it in live next week, so. Do you um, compliment anyone playing an organ? Um, apart from in church, because <laughs> 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 people not travel with organs. Uh, you have to put an organ sound on the I keyboard. Know, but <laughs> it, it, it's, um, yeah, uh, have you ever thought of it? No, I haven't. No, no, I, don't, I just get on playing. No. <laughs> just so <laughs> many ideas. But, uh, you know. Yeah, sometimes mm. Nova, when he's playing, he'll put an organ sound in there on the keyboards. It's, right. uh, yeah. But an harp? 
Harp would be nice. Mm -hmm. Harp would be very nice. It's, yeah, they're, yes, they do, yeah, they're yeah, beautiful yeah. instruments. Yeah. 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 Do you so play the harp then? Hmm? Do you play the harp? Oh no, I, I can <laughs> harp in my singing voice. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I, I, I used to see someone play an, an harp that is held upright, or the one that is held uh, flat, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and absolutely beautiful music. I, mm -hmm. I, I get carried away with music. Yeah, yeah. You know, a whole range of genres. I love music, per se. Yeah. You know, um, I have music in Chinese, um, Indonesian. And, yeah. And sometimes I play them and they why well, you play these and, 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 and they don't know what they're saying? Mm. I said, well, listen to the creativity of the artist. Yes, that's right. You know, I don't have to understand the language. Yeah, yeah. The language is a habit. Yeah. Yes. I listen to um, Korean pop music that my, my, my daughter does and, and my son has kind of influenced me. And, and, I, and I do watch Korean dramas. I do read the subtitles, but they're fantastic shows. Not just the fighting. No, not just the fighting. It's a really good comedy as well, comedy, like Japanese okay. movie. They're really right. funny. But actually, in, in Not Just Jab, I'm going to be playing one of the Korean songs. It's really nice. Um, I won't be singing it because I can't pronounce the words, but I'll be playing it on the sax. But it's a really beautiful ballad called Don't Forget. So I'll be doing that next week, Friday. Um, I thought like I didn't mention my website if anybody wanted to know. Great. If you're on the internet, it's millisensestevenson.com. And if you're not on the internet, then you can always um, call. Um, there's a number I can give out if I'm allowed right, to do that. Please. Can do that. Yeah. So if you're wanting to just know more about me, um, it's uh, zero. Um, I can't remember the number now. <laughs> <laughs> zero. I had a late night rehearsing last night, like 11 uh -huh. to 12 o'clock, and then I okay. had to teach this morning, so I've raised frazzled. Okay. I'm going to teach again. Uh, 07976 279 yeah. I'll repeat that. Yeah, Zero. well, I'll, tell you, I'll repeat it. Okay. Zero seven nine, mm -hmm. seven six, yep. two seven nine, yeah. seven three two. Oh, three six. I mean. Three six was yeah. that. Oh, seven, that three, I was, you give me the wrong one. You said. <laughs> I'm blaming you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if people are wanting tickets for not just jazz, right. then they can call on that number or the other number for the tickets is O double seven two six. O double seven. Six. Five nine five. Five nine five. Two two four. Two two four. Yeah, and that's Michael. Okay, that's the part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. Caroline as well, but I can't remember her number at the top yeah. of my head. But yeah. you know, um, yeah. Okay. But that's where they can find me and okay. find more about me, and I'd love to keep in contact with people. Oh please, um, don't forget new style. You know, you know, oh, we, no, not we, new style. we we um, we are continually um, monitoring how you're getting along. Oh, that's nice. And um, no, it's it's important. And um, there's some of um, the musicians that are in our city mm. that I really respect them. I have a maximum respect for them because they respect people who. And sometimes I sit in the street and they're talking to him, you know, and it's not like saying, oh, well, I have a point by the end of the day, I've got to go off, you know, mm. the the you have a conversation. Yeah. And you're able to um, give due respect to their time. Yeah. And you can go to what you want to um, find out how, they, how they're progressing. Yeah. And it's not, not being intrusive, mm. but it's how, how you get on. You know? Yeah, I mean we're people, aren't we? Yeah. We have a conversation. There's some yeah. people that bit, can be a bit stuck up. Yeah, so I don't I, think there's I, a reason. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we get human. Uh, have a you know, and said, and, and sometimes you said, um, sometimes you you uh, you say, okay, um, hmm. Well, thank you for your time. You know, <laughs> you say you got it and just say right, okay, because um, you know. Uh, What's going on? Yeah, you know, you just... yeah. So, you're going to say, Milson, thank you so much for your time. And now that I've taken 15 minutes of your time, <laughs> 20 minutes to add, because you told me that, that you definitely had a time to keep. <clears throat> yes, I have. I have someone who will be coming to see me soon, and I'm still here after a right. and, and the bus, they would have heard you about the bus. probably be listening to me now. I think, oh, she's still there. No rush. <laughs> 
I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> so I'm gonna let them hear some of Yeah, sure. And I wanna go back to your first one. Your first. Yeah, first one's cool. Yeah, take yeah. me to the key, that'd be great. Yeah. That single's available on download, but actually if you come to the show next week, Friday, there'll be some physical copies right, available, so but limited amounts. There we are. The limited copies next week, so nice reason to turn up for a little copy of it. And once you've got to get on download. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Music, I got to confess. Back on me emotionally. Uh -huh. Sometimes I have to close my eyes. Oh. And sometimes I don't let my partner see that I was crying. <laughs> yes. It it shows a, a whole range of things. It throws yeah. me back to my childhood. Yeah. Um and it threw me back to some circumstance that was sad and some that you saw something that was horrible yeah and you know you try to find something that can eliminate it yeah or um soothe it okay the, the yeah. light is still on we're still on <laughs> then i can pack up well i say I gotta say thank you for coming to New Style, sharing your music, sharing your progress, sharing your progress, and really, I wish you all the very best oh, thank you, for Josh. your future and for your family. Yeah, they are they are a unit. <laughs> they are a unit. Thanks. And um, I've been met. I've met all of them, oh. but the ones I've met. <laughs> They're a blessing. Oh, thank you. I'll let them know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thanks, okay. George. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. <laughs> <thank you. laughs>